at the Sea Omega Orchard here, and this is a block of Regina that you can see all around us here that was severely damaged by the freeze that occurred in November. This block that we're in here that was damaged has been managed under our uh, standard uh, program that we follow here at Omega Orchards. We're looking across to a draw over at the other side there and, and on that ridge below the pine trees to the left and behind those pine trees going up over as far as you can see, that's our AEA trial block. And at that block we follow a full AEA program for our ground management, our fertigation, and our foliar sprays. And that block has no damage. This block, we had to restart these trees over again. So we'll go there next. So we went from no crop at Sea Omega Orchard. For the next three years where we were at, we'll be growing tree. We'll be regrowing all that canopy. And now we come down to this orchard and we have the potential for a 10 to 14 ton crop. Just through nutritional differences, as best you can guess for the seasonal well, the, the, stress that you went through. Yeah, I, I would guess that, Nutritional and I don't need to guess, I can that. say the only difference between this orchard and that orchard, it's the same soil type, same slope, same elevation, same age tree, same variety is the management that we're doing here, the AEA management. The other thing I want to point out is, and this is a, this is a sign of a lot of vigor, see all the shoot extension we see here? So we, we have all, we have shoots growing along this branch, that's considered an excellent indicator of the vigor and strength in the tree, energy level. the energy level of the tree. And um, where we see this, then at the, the, there'll be fruit at the base of these shoots, and those cherries will be really big, really desirable. Cherries that are fruited on the base of one-year-old wood are, are considered really advantageous. A couple of the highlights of what we've done here. Uh, as far as soil management, we've applied compost and mulch um, to, to the ground here. We've applied a variety of um, soil stimulant sprays, including Rejuvenate, Sea Shield, and then <clears throat> there was residual herbicide damage here affecting the trees, or damaging the trees rather. So we applied OP8 and uh, a couple of other products to the soil here. Um, then these trees received the full AEA foliar program and a fertigation program as well. Since and what? Uh, this is the this will be the third year. Oh, this this will be the second year of the full program. Uh, the first year this is the third year of us working with AEA here. The first year we just did an AEA foliar program. The second year we adopted the full AEA program, which was soil fertigation and foliar. And now this is the second. This will be the second year of us doing a full AEA program. So this okay. is after one year of the full AEA program. And I should also note that we we're going to remove this block. We we're going to take this block out. It was so bad um, when we started with AEA here. And um, so this block started significantly behind the block we were just at. But yet it's doing really, really good. This was the size of the leaves during the growing season here at this orchard. Yeah, that's how badly in decline it was. Yeah, that's how bad it was.